In this video, we're just going to show a real quick example on how to hide a certain row and then setting that up in a macro. So the first thing we're going to do is do record macro and we're going to do type in hide row, hit OK. And let's just go on and scroll over to the left of my document that I already have set up here. Let's go on and select row 11 and right click it, hide. And there you have it. We're going to do start recording. Macro, let's look at the hide row code. This is where I scroll through the columns and I'm going to erase that. But we have rows 11, 11. That select, selection that entire row dot hidden equals true. We can rewrite this where we do sheets and then we have sheet one dot range. Actually, I'm sorry, dot rows. We'll do 11 dot 11 dot entire row dot hidden. And we're going to do false just to show it real quick. I'm going to play it by hitting F5. Right here, the row is showing but we're going to do hidden equals true. And you're going to see how this code is the same exact code as here, just with, as a one-liner. We're going to do macros. Let's start it up. Hide row, run, and then row 11 is hidden. Show you a real quick trick. Let's just say if you wanted to hide five rows. Let's say you wanted to hide rows 10 through 14. I'm going to show you how to do a for statement, for rep, equals and let's just do 10 to 14 next rep now we close the for statement have this code right here sheet one and we're going to replace the 11 with rep ampersand we'll do a quotation we'll put a colon here and we'll do ampersand rep so instead of having Instead of having 11 colon 11, we're having rep and the colon and rep that entire row that hidden equals true. So this will hide rows 10 through 14. Let me show you how this works. We're going to run the macro, hide row. 10 through 14 is now hidden. Now if we just want to show those rows again, we could just do, let's just do edit. I'm going to copy this and actually paste it right below it. I'm going to put show row. Let's change that to rows. And we'll put hidden equals false. That's the only thing that we're going to change. Everything else will remain the same. Go back to our Microsoft Excel macros and let's do show rows run. 10 through 14 are now showing. So this video just gives you a quick demonstration as to how to quickly hide a row and how to use a for statement to go through a certain amount of rows. And in a later video, I'll demonstrate how to use a drop down list. Like let's say that's up here. And let's say we do select a department and let's say we hit customer care, it'll hide all rows with the exception of the ones that list customer care. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.